This is my create your own adventure game that I've started. I have yet to finish. Here on the main desktop we have the folder called adventure. Inside this folder we have all the documents I've finished so far and the beginning one is called mind scramble. So we're going to open that. This is what it looks like. Okay, So let's play as far as we can. Once upon a time, there was a small city in which all the citizens were absorbed in the local weather forecast. The plain-looking weatherman was speaking into the camera with a concerned expression, announcing the approaching storm. Though the storm was only a Category 1 hurricane, the entire town panicked. Every last small-minded, easily scared citizen lost their mind. Literally. Enter Terry, mine wrangle extraordinaire. So, are we going to set traps to catch the mines? Use the lasso you find conveniently nearby, pull out a pipe and play some music to tame the mines or hypnotize the mines. Let's set some traps. Terry begins to set up traps all around the town, but what should he use as bait? Coffee, Playboy magazines, or baloney? Let's try baloney. Terry raids the nearby store and takes all the bologna he can carry. He baits the traps with the circle-shaped meat and waits for the mines to fall victim. He waits and waits and waits some more, but the most that happens is a mine comes near enough to catch a whiff and runs off with a wrinkled nose-like expression of brain tissue. The bologna was a total flop. So should we try the coffee or the Playboy magazines? Let's try coffee. He takes several batches of black coffee and pours the brew into many cups. The cups are placed as bait at every trap. Terry then hides behind a bush to watch as the first mine begins to approach the coffee. It comes upon the beverage slowly, and then suddenly leaps on the cup and devours the coffee in seconds. It then starts vibrating like crazy and takes off at inhuman speeds through the town before the trap can even close on it. All the other mines have gotten their own coffee by now, and the entire town is filled with hyperactive mines spreading, speeding around. Terry ties everything he can think of to try to catch the things, but they are too fast and the drool levels overcome the town and everyone drowns brainless. You have failed. Return to the beginning. Okay, we died. Start again. We're back to the main page about the mines being lost, so we're going to try to catch them again, and this time we're going to try Playboy magazines. Terry finds an adult store around the corner and immediately gets sidetracked for several minutes. But soon thereafter emerges with armfuls of Playboy magazines. He sets the bait and hides to watch. Several minds wander over to the magazines, some in groups and others individually. They are enraptured in the dirty books and fall victim to the trap. Terry whoops with joy and pride at a job well done, but then realizes that only about half of the minds have been ensnared. What? Why only half? The remaining minds are not interested at all in the magazines. What could be the deal? Terry turns to gauge the current drool level and glances over all the citizens. He begins to notice that there are about as many men as there are women. Hmm, what if the captured mines all belong to the men? That would mean that the rest are females. What should he use as bait now? Play girl magazines, Diet Coke, or Victoria's Secret merchandise. Let's try Diet Coke. Diet Coke it is. What women... What woman doesn't like diet anything? Well, considering none of the minds take the bait, probably safe to say most girls don't appreciate that assumption. They seem to be angry and begin to stalk up to Terry. He backtracks slowly at first, but the minds keep advancing. He turns to run, but it's too late. The minds are upon him. They each slap him across the face for calling them fat and run off. After about 30 hardcore angry slaps, Terry is knocked out and soon drowns in the drool that is now almost to mid-calf. You are dead. Start over. Okay, we've died twice. Let's get back. We're going to use Playboy magazines again, and now we're back to where we were. Definitely not choosing Diet Coke again. Let's try Victoria's Secret. Luckily, there's a mall in town, and there's a Victoria's Secret inside. Terry feels very awkward inside such a very pink store, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? At least he isn't about to shop for tampons. He goes through the store and selects several items, some bras, some panties, some sleepwear, and some blush-worthy pieces. He baits the traps, and with a relieved sigh and a blush coloring his cheeks, sits back to watch. Not two minutes later, all the remaining mines are happily installed in their own traps with new underthings. Terry does a quick sweep of the town to be sure he has captured all the mines. He sees no strays and sets about gathering all the trapped mines to the town square. He counts the people and then counts the mines to be absolutely sure. 
Now all the mines are captured. Yay! He begins to do a victory dance to celebrate. But as he is turning around, twirling his finger over his head like a lasso, he realizes that the drooling hasn't stopped. The drool level is now almost to knee height. The mines must need to be placed back in their bodies to stop the drooling. How in the world can we do that? Try surgical reimplantation or call for help. Let's try surgical reimplantation. Okay, this is a broken link. This goes back to the happens if you bait the traps of Playgirl. This is what happens when you title the link incorrectly. So this one links to the Playgirl magazines. So let's go back. Let's try to call for help. And this is also a broken link. This links to the Diet Coke link. So this is what happens, again, when you copy and paste and don't change the information yet. So this is as far as I've gotten. Let's show you what a broken link looks like, uh, an unfinished link. Let's try um, at the very beginning to hypnotize the minds. This is what shows up when you have yet to put in a link. You cannot display the web page. So there you have it so far of my game. We can do the lasso and then from the lasso we can learn how to use the lasso or we can set the traps or we can play some music. So you can see it gets pretty long and complicated but it is epically fun to do. So hope you enjoy and hope you make your own.